And this one is something special. Early stamps. Yeah. Doing this business yeah. longer than we like exist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex and here is Dave. Hello Dave. Good to see you Alex. Good to see you too. And we are here in Max Show 2023. And now uh, we want to film video about all these items and uh, special hello i want to say for maestra who is uh packing now <laughs> rising like uh, five meters away from here So, uh, now we want to speak about uh, some items here on uh, Dave's display. And uh, here on this display, really interesting items. We can see here Gorgias, and uh, this one is really nice, SS. i really not deep into the Gorgias team, but it's very interesting. And we uh, can ask Dave about it. And here we can see DRK, German Red Cross Gorgias also. Uh, one camouflage helmet, side cap, and one a uh, really nice dagger uh, on this display and also we can see here like four sets of uniforms um, as i said i'm not really deep into the uniform them uh, but it's very interesting to hear specialist and it and my favorite items to be honest with you guys uh, in this uniform set is like sturmgeschutz and uh panzerwaffe uh guys and this one is something special and i'm also dying to hear something about this set with uh ss uh, great code so dave can you like share information about your items and uh, it, so what is your favorite piece here uh that's a hard one um honestly right now of everything here probably the overcoat the overcoat really is i mean it's so this came in uh, maybe three or four days before the Max show. Um, we did take a consignment. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of great pieces come in, but this 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 thing was pretty special because mm -hmm. all the insignia it is all it, it, it it's it's originally applied. I mean it's it's so textbook that you can and really it is all original without any original. all original without a doubt. I mean even even the D cipher for mm -hmm. Deutschland regiment. And so first question of our subscribers when they see uh, any SS uniforms on the screen, what rank is it? So this is a Hauptschaffier, which is rank equivalent to an Oberfeldwebel in the army, which in English translation is like a senior sergeant. Mm -hmm. So and what's what, What's nice about this one is that because because he's an NCO, he does have an officer grade with bullion insignia. And that's nice to see the same thing here with the cuff title. It's a flat wire cuff title. So it's, it's, it's not the standard Bevo, which is like a white, like a, uh, it's a white cotton thread that they would use. This is actually an aluminum thread. So it's, it's quite nice to see. But you know, these, these are all pre-war jackets, um, Algamine SS, it, it, technically, it's it, it's early SSVT, mm -hmm. which like were the Verfügungstruppe, Verfügungstruppe, yep, yeah, which which were the predecessor to the Waffen SS. Mm -hmm. um, they had three regiments at the time. The first one is Deutschland, which which matches it. Then you had Der, Fuhr, Der Fuhrer and Germania, um, but you know they wore the ciphers, and and, it, and it's the other thing is these only had one shoulder board. Mm -hmm. They did not have two. Yeah. The early ones had one. And they generally wore the cipher here as to which regiment they were in. They also had LAH, it was live standard, and they would have their own monogram here. But it, it's it's very nicely tailored. All this this pre-war stuff, high quality wool, everything is is excellent with it. Um and this is really what I like to see with these. I should mention the armband too. I mean, the armband's even still originally sewn to it. A lot of times these were taken off after mm -hmm. the war. Yeah, sure. You'd find them in the pockets. I, I bought an uh, Algamine jacket from a family maybe 10 years ago now where the armband had been removed. Yeah. It was still in the pocket, but they took them off. These are what we really like to see in here. Oh, Just nice. The, the early stamps yeah. with the date, the 1939. I mean, it's. The stamp doesn't get as be any better than that. And also you can see here like special uh, hole for the dagger. You can see this dagger it has been attached through the great coat, like overcoat, uh, right to the belt. It has uh, 
been like worn inside the great coat. Yes, yeah, so it would hang out. Yeah. So they use this coat to attach it to the loop, uh, belt loop. So that's great. It's really a nice item. So thanks for showing. And another impressive uh, guy here is like Panzer uh, tanker uniform. Uh, is it also um, all original and with result stuff? Is there any like, all, repairs? All of the parts are original. It has had a little bit of tailoring done. Um, I believe during the war because of the, the, the quality in which it was done. Mm -hmm. But this is a, so this is a first pattern Panzer wrapper. And we tell this by the easiest way to tell a first pattern from all other patterns is you don't see any buttonholes here. Mm -hmm. Because it was not meant to be worn folded over. Mm -hmm. Whereas the later ones, you will see the buttonholes. You can see that on, on the stew oh, wrap. Okay, yeah. Very, it's it's a clear. very easy way, mm -hmm. but the, the lapels are much smaller, the collars are piped pink. So these first patterns, were they, they came out in 1935 during the rearmament of Germany. They only made them in 1935 and 1936, and they very quickly transitioned into the second pattern. Mm -hmm. Second patterns do have the buttonholes, uh, the collar lapels, they are much larger. So, and then, then you get into later third patterns, which is generally what everybody will see. Yeah. And so, like... Early ones are like more expensive, right? They are more expensive. Yeah. And how much ex expensive is it? Like 30% or like 50% or just a little bit? They're, they're, they're double or more the price of a, of a third oh, pattern. Wow. Absolutely. That's cool. I mean, it's the, the, the pink pipe collars mm -hmm. are just, they're, it, it, it has such a nice look mm -hmm. that most collectors, this is what they yeah. want. So everybody likes uh, tanker stuff um, from different countries. Yeah, and this yes. dark side is like very impressive. Uh, I really like it, and I really like like badges and uh, yep. stuff that's related with uh, tanks crew and with U-boat crew. Yeah. Because it was like really close to each other. Something broke right in front of us. I hope it's not too expensive. And another impressive one is uh, Sturmgeschütz uh, uniform. We can see here difference in uh, color of this wrapper and uh, also you can see piping is red, it's related with artillery. Uh, so it's like tanker but artillery, so it's a self-propeller machines, right? It's self-propelled machine. Self-propelled machine. Yeah. So uh, this one is also really nice and uh, is it also, also whole original? This, this, one is, this one is absolutely factory original. Yeah. This is a very late stew grapper um, what is really unique about this and what you do not see is generally they're bevo eagles mm -hmm. this is a printed eagle yeah these are extremely late um, this is the only one i've ever seen with a printed eagle i've heard about others i've seen these on the late m44 jackets before but it's rare to find on them now this is why i this actually was in my collection i mm -hmm. brought it out um, Again, did you find something better? I did. Uh, it's uniform or just uh, an, nah, an, an, I, another high-end item? I, so I collect wrappers, I collect Panzer stuff related yeah. other than badges. Um, but I did find another wrapper that is uh, very special. Yeah. I can't go into the details yes, yet, and, and, and you but cannot maybe the, like next, a, 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 everything. <laughs> the next video yeah. you can show it. it it's, cool. it's great. Cool. Yes. I'm excited. But, um, but this is nice because it's late war, so it's, it's different construction, whereas the other one has separate tabs that are, that are pink piped mm -hmm. and sewn on. Um, late war, so they were trying to get cut production, cut cost. Yeah. What they, they just put a Russian braid, stitched it right to the collar, mm -hmm. and put Litson on, and that's it. I mean, it's just, you can see the lits and pop. So they, they, they simplified it as soon as... Like, as much as possible. As much as possible. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. But this is, uh, now this, this is a 100% textbook. And also, I like, uh, I like these items because it's like a compact. It's not a something really big, huge. And you actually can put it on your like display and it, uh, it should be like, look cool, because it's like short. So yep. that's uh, nice. And uh, another... Ah, by the way, what about prices? Uh, how much are... So this say? one right now, like uh -huh. I said, this has a little bit of tailoring from the war. It was lengthened. Yeah. Um, the straps have been, the, board, the straps have been re-put on. Again, we do believe this is all done during the war. They tailored these, uh -huh. these uniforms a lot. So this one is 10,000. Uh -huh. um, I have sold first patterns before that are factory textbook. 
a lot of times you're going to start getting into 14, 15, 16,000 for a first pattern. Again, these are extremely rare. Mm -hmm. So general pans are wrapped like a third pattern. I think today's prices are between 5,000 and 6,000. Yeah. Um, so it's a big difference. Mm -hmm. It's a big difference. Yeah, and it makes sense because uh, they was worn during the war. And actually, it was like pretty dirty job, yeah, uh, sitting inside a tank, even if it's white inside, but you always like spill anything uh, on, on your uniform. That's right. And they just like finish worn it and just like, and uh, many of them just burned in, with their like crew. And, yeah, yeah, they so got destroyed. And um, this one, how much is it? So this one I'm asking 11,000, mm -hmm. which is, it's a little bit of a premium, but again, it comes down to, you know, if you want one with a printed eagle. Again, it's original to it, so... And if it's something from your collection, it's not going to be, like, cheap, because, you know, uh, it's the same with uh, everybody's, like, dealer's collection. When you have a lot of opportunities to buy different stuff, you just pick, like, best items. The best so, of yeah. the best. And let's speak about Gargats, because it's very interesting time also. I just started to learn about it. I just started to... Um, Pay attention on gargets and uh, let's <coughs> take a look on this uh, SS one. Oh, wow, it's pretty heavy it, and it costs like 19,000 uh, minus five bucks. Uh, but who <laughs> worn it and um, how rare is it? These these are these are pretty rare. These are for SS standard bears. Mm -hmm. These are the guys that are holding the flags yeah. during the parades. Um, again, <coughs> early made. Nickel silver base, nickel silver eagle. Eagle's darkly burnished. This had a this had a silver plating, almost like a frosting. It, and you can see that it's worn a little bit. Yes. The only downside to this gorget is it is missing the chain. Mm -hmm. The chain was made of nickel silver. It's a and very chain should be like impressive with uh, assessed like runes on it, right? The, the chain is distinct. It has skulls and runes, and it's it. Maybe GI just. Uh, uh, like unlinked it yeah just to just put it apart and just uh trade for uh, it is possible <laughs> we don't know for some stuff you know like one uh link of the this chain probably it was like 20 or 30 of them right uh could cost like a couple bottles of whiskey right at that time probably yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. So probably could just i would trade a couple it. bottles of whiskey for that chain now yeah sure uh so uh this Oh, it's nice, mostly done. Another one is DRK. How rare is it? That's another rare gorget. Yeah. It doesn't have the same like, appeal as the SS, mm -hmm. but these are very rare gorgets. It's like 8,000 bucks for this one. It's actually also really impressive. This is also flag carrier um, gorget for DRK. It's a German Red Cross. Uh, and you can see here emblem of uh, DRK, Third Reich period. So it's really nice and uh, very interesting. I didn't remember did I see like before because usually you can see like SA or uh, veterans organization or like Belgian some, yeah police so this one is really nice maybe once we can see like police guard get it's also interesting one with phosphorescent uh, it glows in the dark so uh, it's also a very interesting piece maybe next time we can uh, see but I really like it and I also like that uh, there is an enamel here, and they can see two badges here. Uh, let's take a look on what is that. This one is General Assault badge. Yeah, a ah, hundred. Yeah, that's nice. Nice GFS. And it's like price on request. Can you? So we are at, we're asking 20,000 for this 20, one. These have gone up significantly lately, ever yeah. since pre-COVID. All of the higher numbered badges have become, I mean, it, even finding the 25 general assaults, mm -hmm. it, it has become so hard. Yeah. Um, my case used to have about 10 of them. I think I might have two left. Yeah. So, but we're pretty fortunate to have the 100. Um, these are quite rare. You know, these came out in 1943, so they're all produced in zinc. JFS has the aluminum rivets with all the classic hardware. But, so it's like a textbook and really nice. That's and this good. one I bought from I bought from the grandson of the vet 
So his grandmother had died. He actually lived down in Annapolis in Maryland, which was about an hour from my house. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call. I got the phone call, I think it was the day after I got home from the show of shows. And he said he had some badges and I went down and, and this was there. I, and I was pretty shocked to see this, but it was in, it was in his grandmother's I think it said her nightstand drawer. They opened up the drawer and this was just kind of floating in there with a, uh -huh. it, so. Yeah, just a beach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. They had no idea that the value of it. I mean, when I made the offer for it, they were, they were stunned. Uh -huh. So they, I think they thought it was like maybe a hundred bucks, 200 bucks. Oh, that's not, cool. Not, not thousands of dollars. That's cool. And actually, if you have something like that or like any badges or medals, uh, if you have some Russian stuff or something like that, you can like feel free offer us items and uh, it would be great to uh, deal with you guys. If you have something, don't just uh, put it on like consignment in next uh, door antique shop. You can just contact straight to us. So it's uh, easy and uh, I think you can get much more money. I, I don't think, I, I'm sure. Uh, you can get much more money if you uh, offer it to like people who deep inside this town uh, compare with just like people from uh, regular antique shop. Or Take it to shop. the professionals. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so don't hesitate. If you have something, just like offer it to us. And uh, another one, uh, this is a nice one and pretty impressive. It's like, kind of combo this is a swastika with uh, with ss runes so veterans who can like get it who had the opportunity to get it they should be excited because uh, it's like pretty impressive war souvenir yes that yeah. that's that is quite a rare metal yeah and uh, how much is it i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to ask for this yet okay so honestly that much. That much. I, well <laughs> so i purchased it i think i might keep it for now mm -hmm. um but it could go out for sale. How rare is this item? So this one's pretty rare. I've had one other. Um, I think I've maybe seen four or five others in existence. So you will run across these. 99% of the time, they are fake. Mm -hmm. um, I, actually, I do have another fake that is here. It is very good. It has fooled some, but it's not real. That's actually a really nice uh, theme we mentioned, we just mentioned theme of the fakes. Because when I published video about fakes uh, on my channel, like maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe like a couple months ago, I didn't know when this video was going to publish. But I got so many appreciation from different collectors uh, who said to me like, hey, Alex, thank you for mentioning the theme of the fakes, of uh, all that stuff. So we can uh, film video about fakes. We mentioned it uh, last time and also people excited about no, definitely. it so yes let us know let us know under the video uh, and actually your comments uh, help to push this video uh, up to topic <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah so uh, video about fakes it's a good idea and uh, we can meet we can we can scratch the surface and in the end, we have time to see uh, SS Himmler dagger, really nice condition in almost actually mint condition. It cost 24,000 bucks. Somebody can say that it's like too much for SS dagger, but mm, it depends because if we compare with other stuff uh, that has like chips or they, that has like uh, rusty spots, uh, it's just a different kind of material. So right. it's very few of them in that condition. And uh, that's really cool. That's, uh, it comes down to the condition yeah. of it. And is it from a collection or? It came from, from a collection, yeah. yes. It's actually, it's almost stopped to come from private. It, it, it is very rare yes, to find it from the family. Yeah, and I just uh, filmed interview with uh, Brian. Yeah. And uh, Brian, he's a kind of veteran of uh, like Mattel buys and all that stuff. He dealing like more than 40 years, like 44 years. He, he's been, been in it for a while. Yeah. How old are you? 39. 39. I'm 36. So he uh, doing this business yeah. longer than we like exist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. So uh, in his time, uh, people just can, could like bring it in uh, paper from grocery store. Uh, but yeah. now it's almost impossible. That is why this item is like um, becoming like so expensive because like dealers buy it 
and then like resell it or collectors buy it as investment and they um, like pretty wealthy people and they don't want to like sell it just for something they go and sell it with a profit so that is They've how got... it works and actually I always uh, excited to see items in this condition because it's like becoming rare and rare and rare also so this one is it's yeah. one I would like to keep. Yeah, and sometimes people like, oh, there, there are like some uh, like chips here or chips here sometimes uh, exist. But it is what it is in uh, Carl Icahn uh, grips. It's a usual them to these chips because uh, uh, they produce this dagger and uh, screw it very tight when it was like uh, kind of like wet uh, wood and when it became dry it uh, became like becoming smaller and because of that chips uh, started happen so it's also kind of proof of originality if you see uh, because it's like a sign of uh, Carl Icahn SS uh, grips you also can see it on other uh, Carl Icahn's so this one is in really nice condition and also how can you uh, check originality of the uh, dedication um, here on the motor uh, inside the motor you can see like surface um, of the metal inside the letters and this surface should match with letters on the other side and with a uh, logo with a maker mark because of acid etching process and you cannot uh, repeat this uh, surface right because if you put blade to more stronger uh, how to say like more stronger acid uh, it could be like different or yes. deeper or deeper or, um, yeah so this is a small detail that you have to uh, pay attention guys and thank you for showing and this is also uh, very important because uh, here you can see that uh, there is no any uh, like damages here on the scabbard and the uh, scabbard is like also very um, like sensitive piece because it's uh, worn <laughs> over here and uh, all tables and chairs and like uh, walls uh, just can beat and uh, leave the trace on the scabbard there is no so i really like it yeah the anodizing is yeah anodizing is like 100 oh, percent and it's like 85 percent of lockers here. yes so that's cool that's cool and also um, hanger is nice and also small detail about hangers um, you know guys that uh, there are hangers like black color uh, for NSKK and uh, it's every time great to see black rivet uh, on this SS uh, hangers because like brown rivet it means it's more for like SA and SKK uh, daggers and black one is like special for uh, SS one so this is also nice this one yes so, yeah so this is also very interesting detail no stamps here maybe inside I don't, I don't think they have these this is so this is trademark for these the roller clip itself you see the roller clip uh -huh. that's trademark for this dagger down here on the bottom the roller yeah. from what I've been told that is what you have to see for the hanger for him. So I think we've filmed enough for Nice Max Show 2023 review. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video until the end. And thank you guys for supporting uh, our channel by press like button and subscribe button and uh, leaving comment because every comment counts it's like every vote counts <laughs> every, every every comment counts uh, by google and uh, every comment push uh, the channel upper and upper in uh, google and our hobby becoming more popular because a lot of uh, people here in um, max show i saw um, and they like oh alex i see your videos yeah. yes uh, we took pictures and it was so cool so nice and so warm guys i really appreciate your feedback that's so cool um, again thank you for your material and uh, for being ready to film video you're welcome <laughs> so, anytime thank you Thank you, Thank Alex. You. So, guys, have a good one and see you real soon.